like we always do at this time. I did the video earlier, but my motherfucking um my motherfucking mic is getting down. Nice check. But I'm so I had to come back and hit you. I already know. But I don't miss a beat and I don't miss a stuff. This just gonna get more detail because I didn't have time to do the other video anyway. Let's take this shit out. They done ran down on the young boys that's allegedly killed off. And as they run it down and they scooping up this person who told on that person, that person who told on that person, that person who told on that person, etc. All the information is coming around. They they even uh, threw young Dolph, I mean black youngster in the mix and kill a young Dolph. Young Dolph. They said that the white car, when I told y'all a while back, when I showed y'all that picture of that white car, and everybody was like, no, no, no. No, no, that's not the same car. And I was trying to explain to y'all, look at the year of that picture. The picture was like eight years old. That car was old. That car had been passed around to black youngster girlfriend who probably had, had accidents, got replacement parts, and the car was passed around to the young gentleman, allegedly, that killed young Dolph. So I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. The car came back to I mean, to black youngster, they're like, yeah, it was registered and insured to black youngster. And the dude said that the car was black youngster's girlfriend car. So I'm like, who the fuck is black youngster's girlfriend? We'll show you that in a second. The defendant, Kelly Walker, was convicted by a Shelby County criminal court jury of facilitation of first degree premeditated murder, a class A felony, and aggravated assault, a class C felony. He was sentenced as a range one offender to 25 years and six years respectively to be served consecutively in the Tennessee Department of Correction. On appeal, he argues that the trial court erred in denying his motion to suppress his statements and challenges the sufficiency of the evidence and the sentences imposed by the trial court. After review, we affirm the judgments of the trial court. The defendant and a co-defendant, Cortez Johnson, were charged with the first degree premeditated murder of Marcus Glass and the aggravated assault of Cornelius Smith as a result of the co-defendant shooting into Glass's car at an intersection in Memphis during the early morning hours of January 28, 2008. The trial court conducted a hearing on the defendant's motion to suppress his two statements. The state presented the testimony of Sergeant Vivian Murray. So, in other words, these dudes already have pending cases. And one of them was out on a pill while they did all this dumb shit. With the Homicide Bureau of the we think gonna tell first. Memphis Police Department, who testified that she came into contact with the defendant at the police station on January 29, 2008, when she walked into the interview room in which he was sitting, and he recognized her as being the mother of one of his former classmates. The defendant informed Sergeant Murray that he wanted to speak with her and not the officers he was initially talking to, so, after checking with the other officers, she took Sergeant Mason into the interview room with her. She informed the defendant that she would have to advise him of his Miranda rights in order for him to talk to her, and he acknowledged that he understood those rights. Sergeant Murray interviewed the defendant and then took a formal statement from him. In his statement, the defendant denied having any involvement in the shooting in this case. On cross-examination, Sergeant Murray elaborated that when she checked with the other officers prior to interviewing the defendant, they informed her that he was a suspect in that homicide and it may have had something to do with his car, but did not tell her about any of the proof. The other officers also informed her that they had started talking to the defendant, but he decided that he didn't want to talk to him anymore. Sergeant Murray acknowledged that when she read the defendant his rights, she knew that he was under arrest and was possibly going to be charged in connection with the complaint but she didn't know the details of the case to ascertain with what he was going to be charged. Sergeant Murray stated that the defendant was being detained for investigation, but had not been placed in jail on a 48-hour hold. She recalled that later in the evening of his formal statement, the defendant was booked into the jail on a 48-hour hold. Sergeant Murray stated that the defendant was... Anyway, long story short, these dudes was already wanted, right? They went as far as saying that the car that they was in, that they was being stole, charged for the stolen the car. They said, hell no, nah, we ain't still it. Black youngster gave us the car. That car is his car. When they checked out the information, they said the car was his girlfriend car. And like I said, I'm nosy as fuck. I'm like, who the fuck is this nigga girlfriend? Now check this 
are what I came across. This is what I came across. At the end of the day, y'all, I'm big mad because I'm that girl and I could do whatever I want to do and I'm popping. I can fly any state that I want to go. Bitch, I can do anything that I want to do because I'm that bitch. Why y'all hoes hating so hard? Bitch, get you some money. Get you some money. Get you all time. Get you some business. Why y'all want to hate on me so hard? Bitch, she know who I'm talking to with her big nasty belt ass. Bitch, you know exactly who you is, bitch. Why you so is these two trainers arguing over black youngster? Now, why black youngsters should be worried about his freedom? Why black youngsters should be worried about what these young boys are telling the FBI? Remember I told y'all the FBI was involved with everybody arguing me down? No, they're not. No, they're not. No, they're not. Yes, they was. I told y'all they was. They followed the fucking Memphis police. The Memphis police escorted the FBI when they came to get the car. Now, he said it's his ex girlfriend call. Are you up there sharing my bitch on Facebook trying to be cute on Galveston County? Bitch, girl, girl, get into these motherfucking commas in this bank account. That's what you do, bitch. See how heavy that voice got? Bitch, why you worried about me, ho? Bitch, I'm always gonna be that, that bitch that you hoes gonna have in your mouth. Bitch, cause guess what? At the end of the day, you hoes don't got shit to do down there but hate on me. Bitch, I'm not even in Galveston County. You hoes big mad. Bitch, I'm not even fucking y'all niggas, so why y'all mad? Bitch, is young, is black youngster. Why you mad, though? Bitch, because he lived for a bitch like me, tall and skinny. Bitch. Black youngster, that's what you're living for? Now, I'm going to tell y'all like this. The last two big artists that was killed was killed by... A guy that had a transsexual girlfriend. I listen to black guys. It's real fast, nigga. I ain't shit about me gay. I got kids at home, my nigga. Don't play with me, my nigga. The nigga in the bed, lot of some motherfucker with no nine silver ass watch. I got a bust down rotor. Damn's all across the band, nigga. The fucker and I got gunshot wounds in my arm, nigga. Bitch ain't on God while looking at you. Well, they didn't show that on home, but they showed the other arm. And then why he wanna argue and get irate about it? This is some other shit that popped up. You really be chilling with this motherfucker in different places, bro. Now, I ain't going to say his career is over. Because let me explain something to you. If you didn't know, he's going to move up in the ladder. He just didn't have to dye his hair blonde. He did the, the, the ritual. He let him know, I'm gay. This motherfucker on the screen with him let them know that he's gay. If you go to this person age, I can even show you the name of this person. Now look, it's an old man. No fake asses and fake tits, you can't fucking tell. And what I'm hearing, they're creating fucking vaginas. I don't know, right? This is how you fucking tell. You gotta get cautious, okay? When in doubt, it's a nigga. If you got that's what academic is running around saying. And I don't agree much with academic. But he's 100% motherfucking on point with this one. Now, act, you know. I'll be like, you meet off. Nah, I respect it. Because you got that. And then, like I said, this man telling us about a rolly watch and... Yada, yada, yada. Bitch, because he live for a bitch like me, tall and skinny. Thanks, real fast, nigga. I ain't shit about me gay. I got kids at home, my nigga. Don't play with me, my nigga. The nigga in the bed, lots of some motherfucker with a no nine silver ass watch. I got a bust down rotor. Damn's all across the band, nigga. The fucker and I got gunshot wounds in my arm, nigga. They took a bunch of pictures with Black Youngster. Apparently, Black Youngster, and they, not even apparently, you guys know Black Youngster was at South by Southwest showing out a lot. He was with Drake performing at a couple places. Well, this person as well was at South by Southwest taking a bunch of pictures with Black Youngster and also with Black Youngster even on stage while he was about to perform like either or maybe perform before Drake or either after Drake, okay? So there's a lot of proof that this person was around Black Youngster. Now, the most um, indicting proof is that um, this person took a picture in bed and it seemed like the person in bed was Black Youngster. Now, this person has came out on the record to say... Yeah. Black like Youngster said with the lights kicked out. Lies, nigga, you told a lie right there. That watch that you showed us, it do look like that watch. How can we take a bullet march with your other arm is covering that arm? 
That's all I was saying. I'm not saying that he actually did this, but how could you lie and you got face pictures with this tranny? Hey, man, tranny power. No disrespect to the transsexuals, the gays, the lesbians, the LGBT community, none of that. One thing I'm saying is these gangsters are built different. And they so confused, they don't love themselves. How they going to love somebody else? That's why they have no regard for human life, because they're confused. They need, they need somebody to say, hey, man, live your life, be you. And don't worry about what the crowd and what the, what the media say about you. They can't live like that, so they do this type of shit. He's trying to say that's not him. I say it is. And out of all this shit that's going on, where a black youngster do go to jail, each year be at home, and he'll find him another one of these in there. It's your boy Costa Don, y'all. Sorry about the other video with the low volume. Hopefully this one is better. It's your boy Costa checking out. Peace.